so, so operators are functions. Good. I hope you have that stuck in your head. They're just functions we call. But instead of putting the function name at the beginning, we kind of put the function in in the middle here between the two operands. All right. I want to go a little further with this operator overloading notion and, and uh, get something that easily nicely prints our vector class out to the screen. I changed our vector a little bit. It, I add a constructor here and I initialize the X member to the X that's passed in right here and the Y member I do the same thing and the reason I use the initializer syntax here is just to keep this short and sweet and on the screen so you know that's a religious preference if you go watch my initializer list video you'll get my inputs on that but I just thought this was a little bit more succinct for the video so I went that way okay so vector result gets first plus second this plus resolves to this operator plus which you saw in the previous video now it's quite common with debugging to give objects a two string method that returns a textual representation of that object so when I'm debugging I can say well what's the vector All right so in the case of first I'd probably want to print out something like one and two or two All right it's the values that first stores and I can make a two string function and add that to my vector class but what I really want to do is say see out result like so all right now notice the red squiggly so I'll hover over arrow no operator stream insertion or left arrow double arrow matches these operands well what should we do we can overload the operator I just showed you how to do that with a plus symbol let's do it with the stream insertion operator that's what that's called so let's uh, I'm gonna just say void for the return type first and we'll come back to that in a minute and I'm gonna say operator um, left arrow now notice the first argument is C out and C out if you go look a hit of 12 and go look into the deep dark dungeons of C out and streams and learning all about streams C out is an IO stream okay now these things are not copyable so I have to pass them by reference but I'm not passing it by const reference because I am actually modifying C out I'm, I'm having C out print stuff so we just pass them by reference uh, and I'm just gonna call this stream and then the second argument looks like the second argument, this right-hand argument to our stream insertion operator is going to be a vector. So I am going to pass that by const vector reference because I'm not planning on modifying uh, the vector. Okay, so when, uh, now it's complaining here because I probably don't have STD there, standard IELTS stream reference. Okay, good. Uh, so what I, what do I want to print to the screen? Well, I want something similar to what I showed you before. So C out, and let's do a curly. Do I want a space? Eh, no space. C out, uh, right dot X. And let's give our comma with the space. And then let's go right, right dot Y. And then let's close it with a curly. All right. Now let me, uh, let me let me let's build that. See how well that works out. Build star build succeed binary. No operator found, which takes right hand operator. A vector, or there is no acceptable conversion. So, and I had to pause the video there. It took me a little bit off guard. I took the I off of IO stream. If you re learn about streams in depth, IO stream is an input output stream, whereas C out is just an output stream. We're sending data out to the console. So I deleted the I, and notice the red squigglies changed. All right, now let's see if we can try to figure out why the red squiggly's changed. I'm going to hover over here and it says expression must have an integral or enum type. Well, that's not very useful. Let's go over here. Error cannot determine which instance of overloaded function inline is intended. All right, so neither one of those errors is very intuitive to what's going on. Let me just explain. When I say C out, uh, left shift operator or stream insertion operator, whichever you want to call it. When I invoke this operator, it invokes this function here, this operator left stream. But in place of itself, it's going to return void. All right, so it's kind of like when this when this expression evaluates and returns void. Well, I can't shift end line into void. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so what I really want to do is shift end line into C out. It kind of reads left to right here, right? We want to shift result into the into C out, and then we want end line to do that. So so void's not going to cut it. What I really need to do is return the stream that was originally passed into the function. Okay, so I will need to say return stream, all right? I'm, s I'm being abstract here saying stream because there's all sorts of types of strings or streams. I've, I've shown C out several times, but there's file streams and all other kind of other things. So I, I just want to return the stream, okay? And in order to return the stream, 
I need to see standard O stream reference. It is a reference. It's coming in as a reference. I'm going to return it as a reference. Now that I return it as a reference, this returns a reference to see out. It's kind of like it it uh, prints result and then returns see out in its place. All right. Well, that makes sense. Now I can say see out end line. All right. So I just needed to return this O stream reference, the same reference I'm getting in. So thus I can chain these operators together. All right. So this is kind of a nice operator. It, it it will give us a textual printout of what our vector is, the x and the y. So so let's just run this. Build, run, output, four, six, and even I get my nice little curlies here. So one plus three is four, and two plus four is six. This is kind of nice. I can. Uh, I can chain these up now now that I have this operator overloaded. I can say, well, first, and then let's do a plus, and then let's do a second, and then let's do a equals, and then result. So this will give us a nice, hopefully a nice output, or readable output of vector addition. The vector 1, 2 plus the vector 3, 4 gives us the vector 4, 6. All right, so I'm going to keep this guy around just because I like him and he's useful. We also have the operator plus. This is building up to a nice kind of vectorish mathematical library.